So how do you spot the difference between a junior developer, a mid-level developer, and a senior developer? I found this post on Quora. I thought it was interesting, so I thought I would uh, bring it up here. So junior developers say, my code is fine. There must be a bug in the compiler. Mid-level will say, there must be a bug in my code. Senior developers will say, my code is fine. There must be a bug in the compiler OS. But when they say it, they're usually right. So there's some truth to that. Let me add some more. Senior developers will say, uh, there's no better programming language. It all depends on the job. Junior developers will say, this language is the only one you should learn. Senior developers will say, you use the right type of database for the job at hand. Junior developers will say, no, you got to use a NoSQL database. It's the best. You don't want to use old relational databases. They're terrible. Junior developers will say, oh, this, this is old. This technology is old. It's no good anymore. Senior developers know in the real world, much of the technology that's being implemented today is actually fairly old in programming terms. Let's think about it. Python. What, 35 years old? JavaScript, 25 years old. Java, about the same. C++, was it 30, 40 years old? SQL, 30, 40 years old. PHP, 25 years old. I could go on and on and on and on and on. In fact, of the top 10 languages, I think nine of them are 20 years plus older. What you should be concerned about as a uh, developer if you are looking at uh, tutorials and training courses, are the courses and tutorials on frameworks. That's what changes reasonably often. But in terms of the underlying programming languages would be Python, Java, C Sharp, PHP, uh, SQL, say CSS, HTML. Uh, did I say Python? Did I say JavaScript? And so many others, these languages are pretty stable. The differences between Python 3.8 and 3.9 are really uh, tiny, peripheral typically, meaning the updates in the subversions are typically uh, things on the fringes of the languages, things that you probably won't touch. So again, these are just some of the uh, difference between junior and senior uh, developers. Uh, a big part of it just has to do with uh, an understanding of the landscape. I'll leave you with this. One of the things I've noticed um, is that I hear time and time and time again from people who are getting into coding. They hear out there on the YouTubes and elsewhere that they got to learn this cutting technology here, or this cutting te technology there. And then when they actually get into the workforce, they find a bunch of the old stuff is actually being used in the real world. Um, again, it's not about saying the new stuff isn't good. It's good given the right circumstances. But the fact of the matter is, is that the rapid development in the uh, software development space occurred in the 90s and early to maybe mid 2000s. That was that, that that's where in that period of time where you had that quick, rapid rate of change in terms of uh, what people were using and so on. So I'll give you an example. In the uh, early, early 90s, when we were building very simple web apps, we were using a Perl CGI. Uh, generally speaking, a lot of people will use uh, flat file-based databases, which were basically no SQL databases. So back in 1996, that whole paradigm changed with what we now call classic ASP, which was developed by Microsoft, which was basically a page or view centric web app development technology. Uh, and it was component based as well, too, you know, in a very simple way. But nonetheless, it was a big radical paradigm change. Also, the move to SQL based databases, the relational database away from the flat file system. Uh, that was, again, a huge paradigm shift. So that happened. That was one of those events. And then we went from what some people would characterize as Model 1 single-page apps, uh, where we used to do postbacks, uh, to uh, MVC style, uh, Model View Controller style based application development. We used to call that Model 2. 
and so on and so forth. The last big change in the web space really has been, if you're going to call it that, is when we went from XHTML to HTML5. And even that wasn't a huge change. Like if you knew XHTML and understood the, uh, that paradigm, if you will, and I'm stretching the word paradigm in that context, uh, for you to learn HTML5 was pretty easy. Um, and I say perhaps with that, coupled with that, was the move from Flash to create interactivity in a page and animation to go uh, HTML5, CSS3, JS. Uh, Flash was effectively killed by Steve Jobs, as you know. Anyway, there you go. So these days, if I were getting into development, concentrate on your basics because, and don't worry about the rapid changing uh, impacts of, uh, or the rapidity rather, of the change in technology in terms of how it impacts jobs and so forth, it just is not there anymore. 